anyways, this is one of our older trucks. It's uh, an all-wheel drive truck. So it's got uh, a driven front axle. So I'll go over the controls to operate this one. Uh, ain't too much to this one. I mean, all the all of our trucks are relatively simple. They're not they're not really super computer controlled like some of the the newer ones or the higher ones. I mean, you got a monitor and everything sitting here, and there's just there's all kinds of stuff. You got um, ground controlled, ground speed controlled sanders that uh, they measure your speed and they put out a certain uh, rate of application for salt and stuff. Uh, we don't have that. Ours are all basically manual. Um, this is a Muncie controller, and uh, this one is pretty much it's sort of. I mean, it's 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 digitally controlled or electrically controlled. It doesn't have the the manual uh, sander control, but um, I don't know what that's from. I guess I'll have to look into that next week. Huh. All right. So anyway, this one has on spot chains. So it's got uh, it's got an air actuator valve that's it's, it's mounted outside the truck, and uh, basically you just turn this on and hit the switch, and it will put air to the air cans that move an arm that have these chain wheels that will contact the side of the tire, and then they spin the chains under the tire. It's kind of neat how they work. So. It works nice in like the ice and stuff. If you're going through like heavy snow or, or deep snow, they don't work that well because it just kind of hits the snow and it won't go under the tire. It, unless you're plowing it off, then it, then it'll work. But if if you're going through deep snow, they don't they don't work all that well. So this one's got the old inline pump, so it's just a mechanical shut off. And then it used to have a pony motor that ran the sander it used to run off of a little gasoline engine with a hydraulic pump on it and this is how you control it so you'd start it with this and then you have an electric choke to turn it on basically the only thing that works on this anymore is the flasher so it, all the lights are controlled by that so <clears throat> get your basic heater controls um, right here is a air control transfer case so it switches between high and low and then you have the front axle that engages and disengages. So all our trucks, or well, three of the trucks are manual. Uh, two of them are automatics. Um, personally, I prefer the manuals. I just think you have more control over them than the automatics. But, you know, an automatic can be nice sometimes. So <clears throat> we got our levers. Uh, this one's for the plow, up and down. Um, this one is for, it used to have a wing on this, and this would control the wing to go up and down. Um, it does have, obviously, a four joystick valve body on this. The two here are not used at all, so they're not, they're not plumbed to anything. There's nothing coming out of the valve body, but normally you could, you could add a power reverse plow. So it's like the, the smaller plows that would, it'll turn left and right instead of being fixed all of our big truck plows are all fixed uh, to the right so I mean they make them where you can turn them back and forth and that's what you'd use the other levers for is to rotate it one way or the other and then um, the other one I think you can have sometimes you have two different adjustments on a wing you can have a front one up and down and a rear up and down or just up and down for the whole thing and there's there's a bunch of different <clears throat> types of wings that you can have so that's why you'd have those levers um, so like this this is our sander control <clears throat> so you turn it on and right now it's set to zero so you can run it on pause where you'd stop it and then take it off pause it would start going again blast turns the uh, the auger or the chain out to nine so it basically puts out a full 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 I mean that's what a blast is it just goes full and then it shuts off after a second so you can control like your spinners here you just hit that up and down and that controls the 
a little solenoid box that's in the back with uh, the hydraulic is run to it and then auger up or down so that's how you control this one it doesn't have the manual ones that the other ones do <coughs> so I mean that's basically it for this truck for controls they're all somewhat simple um, up here we run a sensible spreader program uh, so this locates where we are it it also is tied into the the uh, sanders there's a little puck on the side of the drive that uh, it counts the rotation so it actually tracks how much salt or sand or material that we put out while we're going it tracks our speed as well and these you won't see it here because we've got no service in this building but it'll come up with a map and it will show you where you are on the map and uh, everybody else is also linked on the same map it works sometimes but we're getting kind of it's been getting kind of glitchy lately where it's people are getting like lost it's freezing up and but it works for most of the time so that's that so we're gonna go over here into <coughs> this one um, I can't show you So this one's probably one of the more simple ones. <clears throat> so, I mean, you got all your panel switches here for lights, work light, and everything. And over here, this one used to have this is an air an air switch. The uh, there used to be an air actuated control switch on the front of the pump that would engage the pump up and down, but they it didn't work very well. So they removed that <clears throat> and we just put a regular one control lever in. So this, this just has one control for the plow, just up and down, and that's it. And then <clears throat> this one has a manual manual uh, sander control, as you can see. So basically, you just turn it on and then off. And then you set your spinners, control speed with that, and your auger control speed with this one. And basically, you just kind of set it where you want it, and turn it on, turn it off, and plow up and down. So this one's pretty simple. Well, I mean, you get... Uh, the roof beacon switch and your HVAC controls, PTO, and uh, I don't know what WW flash is. Uh, mirror heat, plow lights. So this one's also a manual. It is a uh, 8LL. The uh, Eaton. There are uh, all the manuals are the same transmission. Uh, I I like the Eaton's. They work pretty well. Um, that's about it. You know, it's a radio, obviously. And, uh, yeah. It'd be nice to get one of the <coughs> trucks they make. They make them with heated mir heated windshields and stuff. Those are kind of nice. Because then you can heat your windshield. And uh, it's like a big defroster on the windshield, obviously. So... I'm not going to see it on this. I'll show you the little puck that sits here on the drive. So right here, this is the, the little puck. It's got batteries in there, and that's what rotates and counts the counts how much material we're putting out. And um, these are the valve bodies. So those, those controls in there come all the way back through a cable into the valve body, and then it's sent out through, obviously, the hydraulic lines into uh, different circuits. <coughs> I think this truck used to have a dump body on it instead of just a sander, but it was removed <clears throat> quite some time ago, I believe. So this, this truck's set up basically the same as the other one. You get your lights and panel dimmer, um, your mirror heater switch. Uh, so work lights, plow lights. This one has a DPF filter, so you get a, a regeneration. Uh, in case you have to do a park regeneration if the filter gets full. This truck isn't that bad. It's an 08. So it was one of the earlier earlier versions. And we, I mean, knock on wood, we don't have too much trouble with this one. And the same setup with the the uh, roof lights and stuff. And This one has instant chains as well. That's the switch for that. 
And this one has an engine brake that the other one does not have. None of these trucks except for that one. And maybe the the uh, two dump trucks. I know one of them has a differential lock on there. Um, these two sanders I know don't. Which can be difficult to operate in certain situations. I mean, I'd have to say if you're going to get a sand truck, the minimum you're going to want is a locking rear axle because it can be a nightmare without them. So now this one's a little bit different. So you got plow up and down. This one has uh, the, the left and right angle for the power reverse plows. And then it used to obviously have a dump body on it. So it was up and down for the dump body. And then um, the same scenario with the sander controls with the manual manual sand of control um, so yeah that's basically the gist of this one not too much to it so this is one of the automatics it's got the same type of same type of setup as the last one um, this one does have a differential lock which is right here which is nice to have um, some other switch so you get strobes tailgate pto uh, this is your automatic slip selector this one has just a plow up and down and then dump body up and down in the same manual style sanding control and then a tarp switch to uh put the tarp back because uh, this one's still a dump truck and uh still the same spreader sensible spreader uh, program so <coughs> see so this one's got a full dump body on it and then it just comes forward right there and dumps out the front and then down to the chute so that's number four this one's a Mac so we get the valve body on the Mac and then your air tanks here and same setup. So they're the same bodies, so that's that body. Same body on both trucks. <coughs> so this one's another another automatic, so this one's a panel right there. I mean I kinda it's kind of a neat panel. I mean I don't know which one I prefer, but that one works well too. So this one's got more bells and whistles than the other one. And a more kind of refined interior. So you have power windows and door locks on this one. And you get your light switch. All your gauges. Right in here. A turn signal switch. Uh, that one is that's come I don't know what that one is it's not for wipers or anything maybe it's more of a control there's this kind of like a little panel a little screen right in the middle that does stuff and you got your lever for your your uh, trailer brakes and stuff your little windshield washer and, and wiper switch the park regeneration heated mirrors engine brake I don't know what the battery switch is for Oh, plow lights, con cruise control, cruise control. So that's for your tailgate, strobe lights, spreader light, tarp unwind. You can swap your air intake. It could do cold air or under hood air for uh, winter. And PTO, and then this one's got a diff lock too. And your, your parking brakes and your HVAC control, radio. So this one's got uh, plow up and down. And then for power reverse plow, and then uh dump body up and down too um this one has it, it got this pedal still here for the the controller right here and this is actually really nice having it right there because it's right right in hands reach you just hit pause go and do your selection while you're sitting there it's it's right there it's i actually really like that in that position and you your radio and everything up here so this one's kind of a this is a nice truck i like this one it's a, 
It's got a Cummins engine in it. I think it's an L9. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't had to really do anything with this one. This has been a really nice truck compared to the other ones. So this is the box that's in the back. You see, you got your hydraulic controls into it. And then it's just like the, the first one I showed you that had the, uh, that had the same controller for the sander. It's got the same box and it was mounted in the back of the of the back of the sander where um, the pony motor used to be. But I mean, that's all it is. So you got the, the controller inside and you got the box here. And that's, that's about it. Uh, actually works pretty well, but I like it anyway. So I mean, got some auxiliary reverse lights and things, but <coughs> that's basically it. So that's the Mac. This is where we keep some of the smaller trucks and then those two and then the other building is the one you see me in all the time where we park the loader and uh, the other three sand trucks so anyway well that's uh, kind of interesting uh, so basically I mean that's that's how uh, that's how the sanders and the, the the trucks are. They are pretty simple. There's there's not much to them. They're uh, you know in the case of how they could be. Some of them, I mean, obviously like the state ones, they get pretty complicated. Uh, they got all kinds of you know accessories and stuff you could put on there. So these are pretty simplistic compared to those. Uh, I haven't actually been in many of them, but I mean I've seen videos and stuff of people driving them, and they look pretty complicated. Well, that's pretty much the end of the day, so I'm going to get going, and uh, if I can help somebody, great. Hope you found it entertaining. If not, let me know what I did wrong, and uh, thank you for watching.